Without any further ado, you good? Uh, without any further ado, y'all, can y'all stand and make him feel welcome? The one and only Chandler Moore. What's up, Kingdom Church? How are you guys? Um, I'm gonna check this. Right, am I good? I can't really see you. I don't know where you are. Just let me know when I'm good. Yep. Okay, great. Happy birthday, Pastor. Y'all have an amazing man of God leading you guys. Um, yeah, I'm excited to see what God's going to do tonight. As I was uh, sitting down, God put a scripture on my heart um, to give context for what's, what he's going to do um, in these next couple moments. Um, it's Psalms 9. Uh, I'm going to read a couple verses. This is David singing to the Lord. Lord, I will worship you with extended hands as my whole heart explodes with praise. I will tell everyone everywhere about your wonderful works yeah. and how your marvelous miracles exceed expectations. Yeah. <laughs> I will jump for joy and shout in triumph as I sing your song and make music for the Most High God. Amen. For when you appear, this is the part I just really feel the Lord speaking. For when you appear, I worship while all my enemies run in retreat. <laughs> they stumble and perish before your presence. For you have stood up for my cause and vindicated me when I needed you the most. From your righteous throne, you have given me justice. And what I feel like I heard the Lord say, just uh, for context tonight, was that uh, as, as we worship, he's going to war on our behalf. Um, and I just sense the strong vindication of the Lord in the room that as, as you're, you're worshiping, as we're laying out before him, as we're, we're singing praises to him and worship giving him worship that things that have been left in limbo and things that have been kind of just been uh slaughtered by the enemy and things certain justices that have been taken from you um as you're right as a child of god god is just going to straighten out and that you'll see with with your own eyes like not not just spiritually but in the natural that things are going to start straightening up as the lord just comes in and vindicates you I, I think sometimes because of shame and condemnation and even the lies of the enemy, uh, we as believers and as children of God, we believe that we've lost our right for God to fight for us. And as a child of God, uh, Romans says he has given us the spirit of adoption so now we can call him Abba Father. As a child of God, we have the right and the backing of God. Woo! The God of angel armies fights for us. So there's nothing in your life that can mistreat you. There's nothing in your life that can go against you that doesn't go against him. So as you worship tonight, I just sense God just vindicating your name. People, I even sense like the, the slandering of names that God's about to clear the record. God's about to clear the slate and clean the state and give you a clear conscience that he is fighting for you. Yeah. Uh, so with that, would, could you, if you can stand, would you just stand? as we dive into this moment of worship father we are here for you nothing else matters nothing else matters your voice is what we're listening for your spirit is what we're waiting for yeah. Ooh, your presence is what we want yes, God. come on this moment just open up your hearts now yeah, Ooh. yeah come on and as you open up your hearts, come on, just lift your voice and worship. Father, you are our one desire tonight. You are our one desire tonight. You are who we want. You are who we desire. Woo! Hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, church. Come on, church. Open up your mouths. Lift your hearts and worship. Woo! Father, Father, we need you. We're waiting on you. Your presence is all that we want. Your presence is all that we need. There's nothing like your presence. There's nothing like your presence. 
There's nothing like your presence. There's nothing like your presence. Better is one day in your courts than thousands elsewhere. There's nothing like being in the presence of our Father. There's nothing like being in the presence of our Savior. There's nothing like being in the presence of our Keeper, our Sustainer, our Protector. You are Lord. You are Sovereign. Come on. You are the Redeemer. You are the Keeper. Come on. You are the Protector. You are the Reconciler. Hallelujah. We call on your name tonight as we lift up your name in worship. Would you come in like a mighty Russian wind as we lift up your name in praise. Would you fight for us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jehovah Sabbath. Would you fight for us. God of angel armies. Would you war for us in the name of Jesus as we worship you warring. Hallelujah. As we praise you're fighting. Hallelujah. You are God and beside you there is no other. So we worship of your high name. Woo. Did answer ya. Woo. She be 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 be. She come on the other side. Let me let me answer. Woo. She be the other side. Let me let me answer. Come on ya. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Come on. So come here, Santa. Oh. He's come to answer. He's come to reveal. He's come to answer. And he's come to reveal. The Spirit of the Lord is here. Ooh. The Spirit of the Lord is here. Come 
in the room. Say, come in. Come in.
Thank you for being in the room right now. You said you were all those who diligently seek you, that our reward be you. Let our reward be you. that you'll be able to hear the voice of God more than you ever have before. We need to hear your voice again. Just one touch, just one whisper from you. Everything will change when you're in the room. Just one just one whisper from you everything will change when you're in the room just one touch just one whisper from you everything will change when you're in the room just one touch just one whisper from You're in the room. Everything will change. Yeah. Everything will change. When you're in the room, everything will change. When you're in the room, everything will change. When you're in the room, lift it up, church. Everything. Shame starts to tremble 
with the light that you bring. Shame starts to tremble with the light that you bring. Oh, depression starts to tremble with the light that you bring. Oh, guilt starts to tremble. Nobody out there gonna gonna be outside. Poverty starts to tremble. Start to tremble. All condemnation, all fear and doubt starts to tremble. The darkness starts to tremble. And the light that Sweet love, you will never stop.
guys are waiting for our altar call to come to the altar. When you don't have to wait for that moment, God is here now. He's ready to meet you right where you are. Whether you want to come to the altar, whether you want to make your seat the altar, the presence of the Lord is in the room. And where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is fullness of joy. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. Somebody lift your heart up in the room. Lift your worship. Because the train breaker is in the room. Because the bondage hey, the bondage breaker, he's in the room now. He's in the room. Where 
the Spirit of the Lord is there is freedom. others put you in and there are prisons that you put yourself in and I just saw the father coming to knock down and open every door to every personal prison and I feel that strongly for like torment like even like the, the in the area of like nightmares and uh, trauma from past mistakes and even past experience like abuse and things and uh, we have we have boxed ourselves you have boxed yourself in into a prison of, of, of uh, the cycle of torment I just see the father coming to break that open but there are spaces that you keep replaying what, what happened and keep replaying the effects of or even the consequences of what happened and you have put yourself in a prison of shame and embarrassment and guilt and condemnation and even fear to try again Hallelujah. the father is coming to open that door
with your heart. Nothing in this world will satisfy. Nothing I've tried it all. I've tried it all. Jesus, you're the cause. You're the cause. One more time. Jesus, you're the cause. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nothing in this world will satisfy. Jesus, you're the cause that won't drop. They say, cause you're I won't be satisfied 
satisfied with anything else but you. I won't be pleased with anything else but you. I sense a strong rededication in the room. And it's, it's not a, a rededication to salvation. It's a rededication to the call. Um, a lot of us, there was a space and a point where we were so dedicated to the call of God in our lives that required a lot of sacrifice, whether in prayer, whether in fasting, and whatever kind of submission. And I just sense God drawing us back to that place that he's here asking like, are you, are you, are you going to say yes again will you submit again Ooh. For, forget forget the past forget what what you did not do I'm offering you another opportunity to say yes again yeah. Ooh. A, a lot of you forsook that place because of personal guilt feeling like you missed it for so long that he didn't want you to return but the Father is standing with open arms, calling you back to the call. Woo. He's calling you back to the call. No matter how hard it gets, Woo. though you may see others living their life and you having to lay down yours.
I sense an unusual weight of glory issuing in the room. Come on, somebody lift your voice. Let's ride it out. To worship you, to worship you, I live. To worship you, I live, I live to This is something I really feel the Lord. I sense a strong, a strong burden on this house. And it's almost like um, there are heights in worship that you guys have gone to. But they just have not been uh, the heights and the depths 
that, that I even feel like that you, you know that this house is called to. And just as, even over the past couple months, I just sense that there's just a, a, like a, a ceiling, a ceiling that has tried to like pressure even um, one, one thing that God's dealing with me strongly about this house is intercessors. That God has been like trying to burden the weight of the house to stop from ascending to the, the hill that God and the height that God has called you guys to. But what I really feel God awakening tonight in your church, and, and, and you may have a young church, but God is stirring intercessors. I, I even, I, I just sense that burden in the room for a lot of your young people that God's going to start waking them up in the middle of the night just to intercede, just not for you and your family, but for the house and what the call, house is called to so that you're not a uh, burden with the weight. And there, there are some of us, some of them who have already been, uh, who have felt that can't sleep throughout the night and can't do that because God has been stirring them already. But uh, I just, I just see God awakening that to the, to the full capacity so that you're not burdened, uh, feel like you're carrying this burden by yourself. And there are going to be moments in the next couple months, there's going to be just unusual counts of glory where service is literally not going to be able to go as scheduled from the beginning. I just, I just see like God, uh, just rushing in so heavily in the beginning of services because people are coming in stirred already and you're the intercessor i just keep feeling god tug on me that uh if, if do you have intercessors in the house if you are can you just lift your hands i just want to just pray over that i i i sense god doing something new with you guys for the concerning the house and there, there's something coming very strongly in these next couple months that worship is going to usher you guys into but intercession is going to keep you and keep you taking you higher um they're, they're, even over the worship team, there's there's coming a new demand of submission, not not just like um, yes lifestyle, but more so your 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 daily activities. Like uh, there's coming a new level of requirement um, for for like fasting, for praying, for corporate prayer, and even the worship team coming together just to pray, not even rehearse, but just to pray, because there, there's a glory that. That, uh, that is going to ascend in this house, that is going to burst out into the community. There, there's a type of glory that draws unbelievers. I think, I think yes, evangelism is great. Yes, outreach is great. But in, in the Bible days, what they had was the manifested presence of God. They didn't have the marketing tools. They didn't have social media. They had the glory of God that demonstrated the power of God. And I just sense that in this church that as, as over these next couple months, especially going into the summer, that you're just going to see radical signs of just unbelievers falling in love with Jesus in the room because of the glory. So I just got to, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for releasing that burden and that weight Woo, over the intercessors, over the worship leaders, over the worship team. I thank you for taking it off of the pastor and releasing and spreading out over the people. I thank you that he would not carry this burden alone. I thank you that as these intercessors travail in the midnight hour, as these worship leaders cry out to you in the mornings, I thank you that the new glory that will be ushered into this house will be able to turn the hearts of men. I thank you that unbelievers will come off the streets asking what is this asking what is this how can i be a part of this i thank you for the glory for the deep levels of glory the glory that leaves us speechless the glory that leaves us lost for words the glory that leaves us not being able to explain the encounters i th hey i thank you for even awakening the dead calls of intercessors i, I just sense there are a lot more intercessors in this church than that raise their hands so god i thank you that you're awakening the dead calls and you're washing away the guilt and the shame that rests on those calls and you're rising and you're awakening those intercessors now in the name of Jesus the name of Jesus Woo. glory to Jesus mm.
else matters Nothing in this world will do Jesus, you're the center Everything revolves around you Jesus, you Jesus be the center, it's all about you, yes it's all about you, from my heart to the end, Jesus be the center, it's all about you, yes it's all about from my heart, from my heart to the head, Jesus, Jesus be the same. It's all about you. Yeah, it's all about you. From my heart. To call really fast if I can, I, can I do auto? Okay. Um, if you deal, I, I, I don't know why this sitting so heavy. If you deal heavy with like shame and condemnation and like the lies of the enemy, like telling you not worth it, and it's even stopped you from pursuing the things of God as far as your calling and your destiny, your purpose, I want you to come as close to the altar as you can. I just want to just want to pray over you. If that's what you deal with, like that, that shame, that condemnation. I sense a lot of you even work in ministry, like so. Don't don't be afraid of that. Man, there's 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 a certain um, a strong dealing that God has been dealing with you about for the past couple months. And I just want to confirm that it's God. Um, I just hear your ears being open to the things of God, and you have disqualified yourself. From uh, I, I just sense there, there's a strong calling of God that you know what it is, but you have disqualified yourself from it because of uh, what people say, not even really what you feel. I sense a real security in the things of God, but God is going to come visit you in your dreams and your uh, and visions. I really see like you see your discernment, your sight with God and the things of God is really clear um, and he's going to start to confirm I even sense four confirmations of what you're called to do in this next season so God I just thank you over his life that he is not the thing Ooh, he is not the label that, that, he, that has been put over his life I thank you in the name of Jesus that shame, guilt and condemnation even even from mistakes from like two years ago that that, that would not break him down any longer I thank you that it would not woo it won't even be a thing that reminds him anymore that 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 guilt that he carries even i i sense heavy guilt from like family members like there there are certain things that you don't want to be seen as uh by family because you carry a lot of weight in your family but god god is declaring over you that that's a false burden that you carry you are not made to make your name great that he is going to woo that the calling on your life is so strong that he's going to pull your name throughout all the mess all the mistakes and all the tragedies that you feel like is too powerful for him so god i thank you for that thing that you're doing in his life come on i feel like there's like three more of you guys 
that, that, that needs, I sense a lot, some of you are kind of older too, like you carry, like you carry that shame and regret from a lot of things. Pastor, do you have elders and stuff? Intercessors? I just want to pray with you guys and just, uh, just declare freedom. I, I want to, I believe, I, maybe I sense it so strong because it's something I have fought with and still sometimes fight with. I'm only 24 and I had a, when I had my child, I was one and a half, 2017, I had a baby out of wedlock and a pastor's kid. So I, for a year and a half, I dealt with like heavy, well, like a year, heavy depression, heavy shame, not wanting to be seen, not wanting to be embarrassment to my family and I, all, that, all that stuff. And I sense that heavily, I guess because I've been through it, I can sense it. Um, that that strong thing, the sting of like embarrassment, like you, you carry around the fear of being embarrassed. And God, God, yeah, come on. Yeah, come on, come on. Uh, uh. Intercessors, y'all can come. We're gonna, we're gonna pray. Um, God, I thank you that in this moment that you're going to free futures. I, I hear that, that a lot of you have disqualified yourself from, from futures and things that have been promised over you because of what you've done, because of mistakes you've made, even because of things people keep reminding you of that God is like, yo, I forgot about that. Um, God, I thank you for freeing up these futures now in these next few moments. That as we pray that your voice will be what's spoken, your heart will be what's felt, your spirit will be what's loud in the name of Jesus. So we're just going to pray. We'll worship. Y'all, if you're out there, you intercede, you worship. Um, God is not done, so you, he, can, he can touch you at your seat too. Pastor, we're going to pray. I'm going to lift up something. Trust in 
I just, as I was praying for one of the men, I, I just sensed God really loudly declaring over over the, the men in the room that He's about to visit you. Like He's 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 going to spend time with you, um, and He's desiring uh, for the men to spend time. And there are certain uh, depths of healing that a lot of us need in here, and it only comes with spending time with the Father, um, and that. You've been searching for a natural man to fulfill what a natural man left. Um, but he, as a spiritual father, is about to come and fill every void. It's going to come through spending time. Though. He, he's going to spend time with you. I just sense that. Just strong visitation and a lingering of God's presence with the men in the room. Just so you can prove to you that you still belong to him. <laughs> yeah. Jesus, you still belong to him. <coughs> Father, we thank you. We thank you. I thank you for every chain broken tonight. Every, every mental prison broken tonight. I thank you even for the work that you started on tonight, yeah. Yes, sir. That you will begin to uh, complete and that you will begin to process. Yes, sir. A lot of us, a lot of us leaving from tonight, leaving from this place are going to experience a high level of vulnerability because um, a lot of our hearts have been closed off to, to, to healing and to whatever God has to offer. And the way he's going to start that healing is vulnerability. Um, and sometimes we don't like feeling weak and vulnerable uh, because it's the fear of being taken advantage of but guys i just i just pray a covering over that space that no 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 soul tie no relationship no enemy no spirit would take advantage of that vulnerability i thank you that as you've begun this work tonight as you open up these hearts and you started a work i thank you that you will finish and you will complete it and whatever it looks like, we say yes. Ooh. Whatever it looks like, we say yes. We say yes. Just for these last 15 seconds, could you just give God another yes in this moment? Ooh, come on. Hey, ya, da, 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 da. Ooh, whatever it looks like. Ooh, whatever it requires. Whatever you desire, our answer is yes. When your spirit speaks to me with my whole heart, I will agree. And our answer will always, will forever, in the low season, in the high season, in the mountain, on the valley, it will be yes. It will remain a yes on the good day, on the worst day, on our best day, on the bad day. Our answer will remain the same. We say yes to you. We say yes to you. We say yes to you. And when your spirit speaks to me with my whole heart, I agree. And my answer will be yes, Lord. When your spirit speaks to me With my own heart I agree And my answer will be yes Lord, yes
Come on, all over the room, lift your hands, sing it. of a gift from God. Come on, put your hands together for our brother Chandler Moore. Come on, somebody thank God for the gift that he sent to us. 